Brienne here from Hooked on Homemade Happiness. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing part eight of the Mandala Crochet Blanket. Last week in part seven, we started to straighten out some of these fan sections that we have around each side, and we will continue to do that here in part eight. We should still be at the corner where we left off. I'm still continuing to use this yarn, and we are going to again slip stitch over to that chain two space for this part where we, where we will be starting um, in the corner for each round in part eight. So now for our corner space, we're gonna start with a chain two and then double crochet, chain two and double crochet will be our corner space for this round 16. Sorry, we're starting with round 16 for part eight. So to start round 16, we do our corner, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And then we are going to double crochet in the next two stitches. They are both single crochets. So here are two double crochets in the next two stitches. And then now we have these V stitches coming up. And we're gonna skip this double crochet and I will double crochet in the chain one space. Skip this double crochet and double crochet in between the V stitches. Skip this double crochet and double crochet in the chain one. So then skip this double crochet and then double crochet in the next seven stitches. And then now we are going to half double crochet in the next six. And now we will single crochet in the next 25. And then that should bring you to the three center half double crochets right where that um, treble, front post treble two together what was from part seven. So I'm gonna half double crochet in the next three. And now single crochet in the next 18. And again, that will bring you to these middle three right in that dip section here. Half double crochet in the next three. And now single crochet in the next 25.
and that will bring you all the way to the other side of the third fan on this side and then now half double crochet in the next six double crochet in seven And then that seven will bring you to the two V stitches. So we will skip this double crochet and double crochet in the chain one space. Skip this double crochet and double crochet in between the two V stitches. Skip the next double crochet and double crochet in the chain one space. Skip this double crochet and double crochet in the last two single crochet of this side and then here that brings us to our corner chain two space where we will double crochet chain two double crochet so repeat that the um, written pattern is linked below with all of these stitch repeats so continue that around working those stitch counts to further straighten out each side of our square. Here I have finished round 16 and I joined the first double crochet with a slip stitch and then I will slip stitch over to the corner space where we will begin round 17. Start with a chain two and again we will double crochet, chain two, double crochet in that corner space. And then we will double crochet in the first six stitches. And then half double crochet in the next six. And then single crochet in the next 88. So those 88 single crochet should bring you now to the last 12 stitches of this side. So we will half double crochet in the next six. And then double crochet in the remaining six. And that brings us to the chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the chain two space. So repeat that pattern of stitches on the remaining three sides for round 17. Here I've reached the end of round 17 and I joined the first double crochet of around the round with a slip stitch. And now for round 18, I will slip stitch to that chain two space and round 18 will just be a round of half double crochet. So chain two to start and half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet for each of your corner spaces, and then just half double crochet in each stitch all the way around for round 18. 
Here is the end of round 18 where I just half double crocheted all the way around. Now for rounds 19 and 20, we will have a round of half double crochet third loop. So I join to the first half double crochet of my round here and then slip stitch over to the chain two space, chain two, and our corner will still be half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, now half double crochet in the third loop in each stitch around. So that bar that is behind our stitch right here, yarn over, insert your hook into that bar, that third loop we are going to half double crochet all the way around working our corner half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet, and that is round 19, and then repeat that again for round 20. Here I have half double crocheted in the third loop only for rounds 19 and 20. I join to the first half double crochet of my round with a slip stitch and I will slip stitch over to the chain two for round 21 and round 21 will be the final round here in part eight and for round 21 we will now single crochet in the third loop around. So I'll do my corner space I'll start with a chain one and single crochet, chain two, single crochet will be our corner spaces for this round. And then we will single crochet in the third loop only all the way around for our final round in part eight. And here I have finished up round 21 with that round of single crochet in the third loop and I joined the first single crochet of my round with a slip stitch. We're going to go ahead and leave our yarn right, right where it's at um, and we're going to start back up in the same spot for part 9 next week. Thank you so much for joining me.